Hey everybody, Bart Madsen here with MotorcycleUSA.com and we're in Ashland, Oregon at Bramo Motorsports and we're testing the Bramo Inertia. And this is Brian Wisman, the lead designer. Uh, Brian, could you tell us a little bit about the Inertia? Sure, I guess uh, as an overview what you're looking at is a uh, commuter bike, all electric commuter bike, 100% electric. You just uh, plug it into your normal wall outlet. Um, charges up in about three hours. That three hour charge will take you about 40, 45 miles on a charge. Um, the bike only weighs 280 pounds, so it's very light. Um, and it's really just been designed specifically for uh, commuting to work and back and, and having a good time while you're commuting to work. And it, it's 280 pounds, right? That's right. It, it feels even lighter when you actually are on the bike. Right, the bike's very, very narrow. Very so narrow. It seems to have like all the, the center of gravity is like really yes, focal. Yes, yeah, everybody talks about, um, you know, consolidating mass and, and this bike definitely does that. All of, all of the mass of the batteries and the motor is within essentially four inches of the center line of the bike. So it makes it a very fun bike. And, to and it's an all electric bike, it's not a hybrid, it's That's a right. totally electric drivetrain. Could you tell us a little bit about what people will see under this panel? Sure, basically we've got six batteries, six 12 volt batteries in the system which uh, generates the 72 volts, but we've got three batteries uh, running on top of the chassis. Uh, this element you see here is actually the, the chassis of the bike that's exposed. Um, and then we have three uh, running underneath the chassis. So essentially your fuel is housed uh, right here uh, in the chassis. And then uh, what's behind these uh, cover plates is actually our, our motor, which is a relatively small unit. It's about a nine inch diameter. Um, they call it a pancake motor. It's a DC permanent magnet motor. Okay. Um, produces around 20 horsepower um, and about 34 foot pounds of torque available off idle. If anything, we've had to uh, tune back the throttle response, and everything is tunable on the bike because it's all electronic in the first place. So. And it's all controlled by the battery management system, correct? That's right. There's, there's several computers at work here. There's uh, individual uh, computers that monitor each of those six batteries, and then that communicates to the master battery management system. Um, and all of that information gets communicated uh, back up to our dash and through some data ports at the back of the bike where you can configure the bike configure your power settings, configure your, your throttle map, and also uh, just view what's going on, what the voltages are on the batteries, and, and things of that nature. There's no, basically no maintenance, right? It's That's no right. No oil, no gas, no nothing. And I guess another thing we should point out is that there's there's no clutch, there's no gearbox, and so there's no shifting. You'll notice that the, the left hand uh, handlebar is, is void of, of any control as well as your left foot. So that'll take some getting used to, but it actually makes it very easy to drive, especially for a novice. So, so compared to a internal combustion, say a car, like what's the difference as far as the carbon footprint that you're leaving behind? This is about five times more efficient than even a Toyota Prius. So it's a pretty big jump and um, essentially a, a motorcycle is about the same efficiency as a Toyota Prius. I mean, we all know that they get great gas mileage um, and we, we would never contend with that. But this is an order of magnitude higher, it's, it's beyond. And that's even taking into account if your energy is produced in a coal burning Ab power absolutely. plant. Absolutely, absolutely. So it's still more efficient taking into account and less emissions taking that into account by a, by a significant margin. And so production's just around the corner. When can people expect to see it and what can they expect it to be? Hopefully um, they'll see bikes on the road because we have a, a backlog of um, about 150 orders right wow. now so we've we've really got to get cranking on yeah. getting the bikes You've out already there, got the demand yeah hopefully okay. we can get those bikes out by the end of the year so you'll see them on the streets and then um, we take orders right now through our website you can buy a production version of the bike for 11,995 right now and a uh, the limited edition bikes go for $14,995 and those uh, feature a lot more of the carbon fiber and, and nice features um, that you would expect from a, a premium bike and those will be the bikes that we build first. So. Cool, cool. Well, thank you very much. Sure, thank you. Can't tell this bike is running right now. It's an all electric Bramo and uh, now it's off. All I have to do to get it running is, this is the power switch right here, Just push that. An LED screen pops up, 
And then this is actually kind of a throttle lock, really. It, it, the bike's not running right now, but when I push that, there's no clutch. Now it's good to go. And just a little twist of the throttle. 